Our Lives Matter. I am 16-year-old Takayla Hart Johnson, your Thalassophile. Scotticia and we are currently at the Virchels High School with the Republic Bank Talented Teen 2022-2023. Takayla, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Mm -hmm. And we are also here with... I am Ajal Williams and we're here, as Tatisha said, with the talented, multi-talented Takayla Hart Johnson. And... We just want to thank you for actually taking the opportunity to sit down with us and being able to do this wonderful interview. I know that you're going to be able to share a lot of information and tell us about your journey and how you got here. So we are looking forward to actually hearing all that information. So definitely be able to stay tuned and hear the wonderful information that Kyle would be sharing with us, her journey to the crown and giving us tips baked on inside information of her life. All right, so we have some exciting news. So Takayla, tell us about yourself. Take us back. Tell us about your age, when you were born. Give us some insights about who you are. Okay, my, my name is Takayla Hart Johnson, as I said before. I am 16 years old. I was born November 3rd, 2006. And ever since I know myself, I've lived in Old Road. How has it been living in Old Road? It's been... It's been a roller coaster because I was I wasn't like out, an outside child because I went to a private school and okay. then I switched to a public school. So then I had to switch to the behaviors of the children around me, and it was difficult at first because private schools speak properly. You know, private schools have yeah. the Yes. Little Guala, wherever. So, yeah, but I definitely made some amazing friends. At I went to the Terry Williams Primary School and it was great. All right, so tell us about from that transition from private school to public school and now, how did that build you? How was it for you in terms of, ha, huh, I want to be a talented teen one day? Was that your thought ever or was it like a last minute thing? It was a last minute thing. When I was in, uh, when I, ch I changed from Seven Day Adventist to Two Williams in grade three, and in grade five, I entered uh, Miss Valentine in Two Williams Primary School. I did enter for fun, and I won the show. I won like three out of four segments. Okay. Yeah, I didn't win into the like, evening wear again. Time. But <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, yeah. Um, then I came over to high school where I knew that they wanted me for talented team, but talented team pageantry wasn't my per se thing. So I wasn't really interested, and I know they wanted me, but it wasn't. I was just going around the bush. I was trying to ignore them. I wasn't paying. You were them. running from your destiny, huh? Yes, very <laughs> much. And then in Late down, no, late down September, um, I made the decision to enter, which I did make the decision. Then I came back again and said, I don't want to do it. Then, after seeing how much support and how much help I will have with my academics, because I'm very competitive when it comes to school, so that's one of the reasons why I was hesitant. But once Mr. Thomas and Mr. Jume Chaperones and Miss Williams, showed me that I will have the help that I need. Um, it encouraged me to enter into the show. All right. Oh, fantastic. And this was a very, very competitive show. Mm -hmm. um, they had a lot of immensely talented young people. And when you first entered, were you intimidated? What were some of the emotions that was going when you first heard of your other competitors? 
I actually um, knew half of them because mm -hmm. we are like the same ages and right. I know them from WhatsApp okay. and so forth. So, yeah, but I was trying not to underestimate anybody. Um, really and truly, my competition was me because sometimes I um, get too nervous and it. I doesn't I don't perform at my best right. ability so yeah but when I heard who were entering I know like it's gonna be a show right but I had to put forward my best right and you said something really really vital when you said um, when you don't control your nerves mm -hmm. you don't actually perform your best so mm -hmm. how did you go about actually managing your nerves to make sure you had that clarity mm -hmm. and that thought right to make sure you deliver on that night actually um in an interview session I had, I can't really remember the, oh, Patrice, I think. Yeah, with Patrice, she gave me a tip to whenever I'm nervous to always take a deep breath before I do anything and then proceed. Oh, wow. Great that's some great advice. Great advice yeah. for us but, as well. I mean, that's yes. for anybody, yes. you know, regardless of your inexperienced or veteran. Mm -hmm. I mean, just take a deep breath and you'll be able to just have yeah. clarity of mind yeah so can you take us back into like the preparation the first the first after the back and forth because mm -hmm. i remember you said mm -hmm. you said you were going to do it and then you said you weren't going to do right. it after you solidify that i'm going to do this yeah. what was the first step for you right. right okay the first step was um to identify which days i would have practices because since I'm in fifth form, I have a lot of after-school classes. I have classes from Monday to Friday after school. And the only day I had free was on Wednesdays. And so we started to practice my introduction for opening of Carnival at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. And I'm a fast learner, so I learned at home like for like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So, yeah, we started to practice. Then we started after school or uh, after my classes and just like 30 minutes of my time and then it progressed along the way. So it's about time management and mm -hmm. making sure that you organize your time properly. And just for people to know, this young woman is actually sitting how many are planned to sit how many? 60 um, subjects? 12 CXC subjects. So that's a whopping 12 CXC subjects. She really made me feel done. <laughs> and to actually know that on top of that, mm -hmm. you were preparing for this very competitive competition. Yeah. Was it really challenging for you? Like, did it push you out of your comfort zone? It definitely did. Um, like I said before, I think in an interview at the Republic Bank, I'm not a dancer and I'm very awkward with moves and so forth. So I had to step out of my comfort zone when I was practicing the um, costume, mm -hmm. the ambassadorial wear. But it was very fun and creative. I really enjoyed performing that segment specifically Lovely. Mm -hmm. I, I want to I'm happy that you brought up the segment mm -hmm. um, aspect of mm -hmm. it tell us about your talent how, mm -hmm. how was that for you how did you come up with the idea okay that this is the talent I want to do actually um, I know I was going to sing I literally can't do anything else but sing but and you were talk. fantastic with it oh thank you Beautiful yes, um, yeah. phenomenal mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually did not come up with the idea but I knew I was going to sing um, Mr. Drew sent me many different songs and it was very hard to learn the songs because it was by Celine Dion and you know she hits those high notes and yes. so forth and I did not know my abilities as to um, vocal techniques right. and so forth but through the help of Pernell Abraham I was able to bring out those beautiful voice and so notes forth. Notes that you yes. hear. Yes and so I got to know how my limits and how far I could go with my voice. That's and, beautiful. And any song by Celine Dion is not easy. At I all. mean, people know the vocalist that is mm -hmm. Celine Dion. Yeah. So to mm -hmm. actually be able to match that and deliver and, deliver yeah. and to exceed that yeah. is bravo to you. Yes, was true. there any other, was there any real challenging segment that you really think you needed extra time and um, extra effort on? Mm -hmm. Um, definitely, I was definitely nervous for interview mm -hmm. because um, 
I don't know how to improv. Like, mm. I I can read a script. I memorize, like, not necessarily memorize well, but I remember things well, and I'm a fast learner, like right. I said. So, and after, like, rehearsing my interview question, because it was rehearsed, mm -hmm. um, I had to cut down a lot, and then I had to take out words, put in words, take out words, like, it was just constant, and I was getting frustrated and so forth and I was just like I don't know if I could do it like set interview I was really nervous before I went on stage I literally told the men who were opening the shells like I'm nervous and right. I said just leave your nerves behind you and right. do I have to do right I, I mm. love that you 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 brought out those feelings that you would have experienced during mm -hmm. the show one of those being frustration mm -hmm. tell me how you handled that frustration <sighs> um one of the ways I handled my frustration, well, I was frustrated with my hair when we first began um, for the for the fanfare. My hair was a mess, and we had literally ten minutes to go on, ten maybe maybe two minutes actually, and my hair was in a state and like for me, my appearance matters. My I I stand on my appearance mm -hmm. and so when my hair was like had a bump in the front mm -hmm. and it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't i mean we didn't me. notice that yeah i know yeah, you didn't we, notice yeah, but we had no idea yeah <laughs> um i just prayed every segment mm -hmm. with mr Drew. i make sure i said mr Drew, we ain't pray yet so come let's pray mm. i prayed and i told myself that i cannot i cannot disappoint i did so much work did all of this and i cannot not do this Right. So ultimately, you would say that mm. you handled your frustration with prayer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I agree with you because I'm a big believer in prayer mm. also. I yeah. think it tremendously helps yeah. you out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when you were up, up on stage and giving your interview, mm -hmm. you said in your interview, the ocean is crying. Yes. I thought that was such a pivotal, just strong statement. Um, how did you actually come up with that statement and did you get a lot of information about marine life and how it works and how it operates because um, that was a great statement in my opinion um mr thomas helped me with my interview he was the one who helped coach me and prepare me for the interview seg segment mm -hmm. um before we actually got an answer he gave me the benefits of the coral reefs, the threats mm. and actions, and it was like BTA, BTA, benefits, threats, actions. Right. That's how I would have answered the question if I had said they wouldn't have given right, up. Yeah. yeah. So you had so, a technique in place. Yes. 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 It was it was difficult at first because um, I don't do geography. Mm -hmm. I don't do any sciences except HSB because I'm picking it up as a extra subject right but you know it doesn't really talk about marine life yeah, so sure. i'm not really familiar with mm -hmm. with the, the topic so it was difficult for me to understand what was happening but you delivered like you were a professional like you knew inside and out marine life because i was educated mm. on that and just to let the people know you actually won four segments of the five judge segments yes. was that a surprise to you are uh, you expected to sweep all five you could tell us the truth <laughs> um it was a surprise to me mm -hmm. actually because i didn't want like i said i didn't want to underestimate the girls because yeah. it was a strong group mm -hmm. and a lot of people had well i wasn't watching well i was watching backstage but i didn't get to see all the girls mm -hmm. but i wasn't trying to say oh i don't win this i don't got this like no because like when my Leo, um, michaela won the best dress segment yeah i actually told her yeah michaela when she was because she was standing next to me right yeah because just so proud of the girls just the sportsmanship yeah. that you yeah. develop mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it was it was really surprising to win four of five segments because it's it's, it's a very strong yeah. group yes mm -hmm. actually yeah. and you spoke about like the sportsmanship mm -hmm. and even though you're in a competition how were you able to balance that and be able to build like unity and a sisterhood and encourage each other even though you weren't going to be in a bloodbath with <laughs> them yeah. in, in, in competing um the development sex 
sessions we had we got to know each other a lot and we kind of go off of tiktok and we made after the first session we made a group chat and so we send our pictures and what's not and whenever we had an event to go to we would send them in the group chats as girls how are they and since we knew each other from social media mm -hmm. we just go closer you connect that. yes yeah all right, so Takayla, tell us, tell us about the major takeaways from this entire experience. What you learned, what lessons you, you took away that are helping you even now to sit your exams this year. Um, one of the major lessons I learned is to effectively communicate. Um, before, before I'm really getting into practice, um, it had times where we had practicing and I didn't tell Miss Drew that Mr. Drew that I couldn't make it. So he had um, tension with us also leading up to the show. Um, I wasn't necess I wasn't really feeling like I wasn't into the show as much as I was before and I was kind of feeling like I can't do it. So um, that affected badly affected badly on my performance in practice and I learned to tell them like when I'm going to be late and so forth and so now I try as much to communicate with my teachers, my peers and let them know this is this and how can we go forward. I also learned to try to control my emotions with honor. I like something. Um, um, constructive criticism comes along because sometimes I don't like when um, being corrected because I like to correct myself before anybody else does. So I learned to take constructive criticism positively and just try my best because sometimes people are just trying to help. help. Yeah. And that's absolutely perfect. Um, you know, one question that we didn't ask you that I think it was remiss on us is which segment did you enjoy the most out of this show that maybe surprised you that you didn't think you were gonna enjoy it that much mm -hmm. but when you went out there you're like wow this was fantastic definitely ambassador real wheel <laughs> it was definitely I kind of knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, yeah it was it was that. definitely ambassador because we could just see that you were having a great time that's why i said and then she also said that <laughs> yeah dancing wasn't her biggest thing right, right, and she right. had to step out of her comfort right, zone for that that's right. yeah so. and even though like the back piece was extremely heavy and then mm -hmm. the costume was kind of tight we had to adjust the costume but it was it was definitely my favorite segment i have a thousand videos on that segment and I watch them almost every other day. Yeah, you know what, as I said before, mm. when you came out the first time in the ambassadorial costume, mm -hmm. I said, she is a winner. Because you had such energy and you need energy and sure. hype up in order for that yeah. experience, for the, the crowd to experience what you're experiencing. Yeah. Yeah. So bravo to you for that Thank and stepping you. out of your, Thank you. your comfort zone. Did you practice so, with that back piece um, prior to? practiced once twice actually i practiced once with like the proper mm -hmm. equipment mm -hmm. and but i practiced twice because he had to adjust oh, okay yeah okay. Mm -hmm. and since you are now the winner mm -hmm. and you are judge all that wonderful um as we said the four segments out of the five segments is there any prizes monetary compensation that you're gonna get that you know of um, I know that I'm supposed to get $1,200 from the Republic Bank and I'm supposed to get 3500 from the Carnival Secretary. Yeah. Yeah. So which is going to come in useful and I think they match mm -hmm. it for the school also yeah. to give the same amount. Mm -hmm. So it's 3500 that mm -hmm. the virtual high school is actually going yes. to get. And how, so will you, what would you, how will you use, use this? really don't know as yet. <laughs> have to get the money first mm -hmm. right yeah i guess you could have my suggestion just use it to further your development yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh, your education, education yeah with seeing so many subjects mm -hmm. yeah. and the investment yeah. so if you were to give any advice recommendation um encouragement to young women like yourself who are out there mm -hmm. and who are teetering on whether or not they should actually actually enter a show like what you actually entered pageant, yeah. and captured the crown what would you tell them 
I would tell them, go for it. We only have one life to live. And whether or not you will be judged for going in a show, it takes a lot of courage to step on stage in front of so many people, a lot of hard work to get things done. And if you are really you, you will do it. Do you. Don't let anybody else um, discourage you of not wanting to reach your goals. Do you. And step outside the box, whether or not it's not your, your thing, because it was definitely not mine, just be different. Different is okay. And this was your first show, right? When no, you no. she did the Valentine show at the Oh, Valentine so show. this was your second show? Yes, it was. Okay, but I mean, compared to others who have entered so many shows, that is a triumph. Thank you. So good for you. Um, what do you plan to do with your range? For the year I, is there anything you're looking forward to i look forward to encouraging and talking to more younger girls who are um in my situation who don't know necessarily whether or not they want to enter a show just to encourage them inspire them to be themselves and you know just go out there be in the world do yeah. yourself yes i agree i think mm -hmm. it's yeah. important to participate yes. in life or these type mm -hmm. of events because you never know what the happen? hidden talents that mm -hmm. you have yeah. until yeah. you participate. Yeah, because I didn't know I could sing like that. <laughs> and you blew us you away. You blew us away. Yeah. So is there any um, future ambitions that you have that um, you want the world to know? Right now, I'm just focusing on passing all my 12 all ones, all ones, okay. 12 CSEC subjects. Um, I'm trying to finish all these SBAs by January. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but I want to become an entrepreneur. I don't know in like what um, area, area of business okay. as yet, but I am interested in fashion. I like to mix and match. I'm very creative when it comes to my style. So it's probably going to be somewhere along that line. I love it. And I mm -hmm. look forward to that. Thank you okay. for sitting with us today yeah. and I'll uh -huh. have... It was great talking to you guys. Awesome. Yeah, and we appreciate you actually sitting down and talking with us. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone you want to shout out and say thanks for actually helping you come to this point and being able to win the crown? It's it's a long list. Okay. It's, very, it's a very long list. Mm -hmm. but, but I'd like to especially thank Mr. Miguel Thomas, Mr. Tyreke and Miss Kenisha Williams for helping me capture the crown it wouldn't be me miss talented team without you guys and i really appreciate and love you guys yeah awesome. and just to let people know how they can follow you on your social media platform oh they can follow me at heart to heart dot beauty on instagram that's my pageant page as well as my main page takayla with like four a's and three threes after <laughs> all right hmm. Thank you, Takayla. Mm -hmm. We appreciate your time and your energy and your talent and congratulations Thank for all you. your success. And I'm going to plug in and say if you need any advice or any recommendation that I could help you out with, uh, Skatisha, we mm -hmm. have background in certain areas, in business and in finance. So yeah. if you need any helpful tips, we will be able to glad you help you. Have you, our you have our full support. That means so there that. you have it. Um, there you have it. We just spoke with the multi-talented Kyla Hart Johnson and hope you were able to get an insight and information about her life and how she, her journey to the crown. So we appreciate you for tuning in and actually being able to stay with us on ZIZ. Bye. See you. We're out. <laughs>